doing? We've been doing this for 25 <laughs> years now. It is crazy. It is uh, how time flies when you're having fun. Thank you, Carla. And yes, there's the big guy and his wife, Mrs. Claus. We'll talk with them in our next uh, live report. But first of all, I've got to show you, I am actually underdressed. I mean, a lot of people really, you know, go all out and celebrate the Christmas season by really dressing up, which is a part of this fun. We'll have a costume contest, the run, walk, whatever folks do will happen at about 7.15. But take a look. I've got the, you know, I've got the lit up necklace here. I've got the red shorts, the reindeer socks, the reindeer shoes. It's all part of the fun as I spin around as they wait for their pictures with Santa and Mrs. Claus. People are showing up and you can kind of see the sea of color, red and green, as we get set to celebrate and help children in need at Advent Health Children's Hospital. A lot of kids right now are in the hospital. This is not the greatest time of year to be in the hospital, but hopefully we're going to bring them a little bit more happiness by by donating a bunch of money, and we want them to know as they watch this that there's a lot of people that are pulling for them to get better. Again, as Carla mentioned, this is the 25th year of the Reindeer Run. For some, it's their first time ever participating. These are pictures of past reindeer runs. And yes, the costumes are a big part of some people's fun and motivation. It's a first for Tracy Moon and Colleen Dillon this year. What inspired you to do this? Because I love to dress up in costumes and run, and it just sounded fun. Like these two, now 98-year-old Grace Nolan first signed up after seeing us talk about it on TV when she was 92. This was her finishing last year. I do this just so I can come and see you, but I do it because I think this is what you do it for. Whatever the age, whatever the motivation, whatever the costume, fun fundraising, which includes helping Santa fill his sleigh, too. This is a little bit of a help for you and your elves. Yes, it's better than it was last the other day, Greg, and we've got, collected a few more toys, which is really going to help now. Um, I'm excited about tomorrow. The three-mile path takes runners and walkers through a very holiday-decorated sea world. And yes, snow is again in the forecast. It's something that even the folks who put on events are touched by. Just awesome. We're just so excited to be part of it. It's a great event. We raise lots of funds for the Advent uh, Health Children's Hospital. It's really awesome. And yes, after running or walking off a few calories for a great cause, you can bake up some holiday treats to really enjoy guilt-free. You know, we have a medal at the end that's actually a cookie cutter, and this year is that Christmas tree design. But again, folks, meeting and greeting with Santa Claus. The line is long to meet Santa. And last night, Carla, they asked me, how did Santa know my name? And it's because I, I think I'm pretty well known on the naughty list, so I'm working to get on the good list. And we'll be back live with you in just a little while. We're also collecting toys for Toys for Tots. What a great day. And again, we're so excited for the reindeer run to start. It's a little foggy, but we've got our lights, and we've got Rudolph to lead the way as we start at 7.15. Back to you.